George Washington Carver. Peanut expert George Washington Carver joins Eureka as judge, brings love of plants, general human kindness to program. Producers are pleased to announce that well known inventor, professor, and all around good guy George Washington Carver has joined the cast of Eureka. Carver brings to the judging panel a love of research, a deep knowledge of plant life and agricultural inventions, and a much needed friendly and optimistic perspective. A biography of George Washington Carver might as well also be a biography of the peanut and the sweet potato. Carver arguably devoted more time, care, and love to these two crops, finding over 400 new uses for them, than any person devoted to plant life before or since. The road to botany based greatness wasn't easy, however. Carver was born into slavery in Diamond, Missouri, around January 1864. He wasn't sure of his exact birth date. He could not enroll at the first college to which he'd been admitted because of his race. When he finally started college in 1890, he studied painting and drawing and piano because his school, Simpson College in Iowa, did not have a science program. But these studies led him back to science and nature when an instructor was impressed by his pictures of plants. The instructor pointed Carver toward Iowa State Agricultural College's botany program, where he was the first black student. This is where his unlikely career took root. He was a talented botanist. And was soon hired to lead the prestigious Tuskegee Institute's agricultural department. While at Tuskegee, Carver set out to help struggling farmers and sharecroppers in the South. He worked hard to get the latest information about farming methods to them, even in remote locations, to help them remain self sufficient. Until this time, farmers in the South. Had produced mostly cotton. Carver helped to introduce many more cash crops, crops that could be sold for money. He also instructed farmers to grow crops that broke down the soil, such as cotton, one year, and then the next year to grow crops that improved the quality of the soil, such as peanuts, sweet potatoes, peas, and soybeans. This method of crop rotation. Kept the soil rich and fertile. Carver became an inventor when he turned his attention to finding new uses for some of these new crops. He developed countless paints, dyes, and plastics made from peanuts, sweet potatoes, pecans, and soybeans. And of course, he is often credited with inventing, or at least popularizing, Peanut butter. When asked why he didn't try to make a personal profit from his inventions, he said, God gave them to me. How can I sell them to someone else?